Hello, thank you for joining me. Now, have you ever looked up at the sky late in the evening or early in the morning and seen a beautiful, vivid display of colors such as red and orange? I too have done that and I also have wondered how that happens and what the science is behind that. Now, lucky for you, I'm gonna give you a little explanation on why that happens today. Now, before I can dig into it, I have to explain what is light, how our eyes work, and the ingredients for a fantastic sunset. Now, sunsets occur because of the electromagnetic spectrum and our brain's ability to process these waves, and it all has to come, fall on the right night and the right set of conditions. So that is what really makes a great sunset. So here we go. What is light? Light is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Right here, this is in the visible light. So when I say visible light, that's what I mean. It's the rainbow, it's what we see. Everything we see comes from this. It's all waves, it's all waves. And there, it's explained by the scientists at NASA in their article that they put out in 2010 on their website called the Introduction to the Electromagnetic Spectrum. They say light is radiance, which is energy, and this energy is a photon. Now the photon travels as a wave. So my fist is a photon and it travels as a wave. So the smallest waves are over here, such as the gamma rays, and the biggest ones are over here. So the red light, and you can see the, the visible light on the spectrum is just a tiny little sliver. So the red light, is the, but the red light has the longest wavelength and the violet light has the shortest and that's going to be key in our sunset. So now that you know a little bit what light is, I'm going to explain to you how our eyes see light. Now Leslie Samuel, a philosophy professor at the University of Boston, um, posted something on the website called Interactive Biology, that's the website. She said how the eyes work. Now, these waves of light go into the lens of the eyeball, which is right there, and then the lens refracts it to the back of the eye where we have rods and cones set up, and these rods and cones can, you know, sense these waves of light. They send signals to your brain, and your brain processes what the light is and it says, you know, what you're looking at. So that's how your eyes work. Now that you know how your eyes work and what light is, light is just, you know, waves of photons at different wavelengths, different wavelengths make different light. Now that you know what light is, I'm gonna tell you what sunsets are. Ooh, ah, looks good. Now, according to Amanda Fagel, a meteorologist who wrote Red Sky at Night, The Science of Sunsets in the National Geographic said that the best moment a sunset happens is right as the sun is setting. Now you can see in these pictures the sun has already set. It's just right below the horizon. And that's the best because there's lots of atmosphere that the waves are moving through. And the atmosphere kind of bends the light. And I'm going to explain this a little bit more and the light reflects off the clouds. So, at noon, why do you see blue light? Why is it blue? Well, that's because there's not much atmosphere filtering out the photons of light getting emitted from the sun. So the sun emits all these photons, all these waves of light. They hit the atmosphere. Well, the atmosphere is made up of molecules, believe it or not, and these molecules reflect back some of those photons that the sun emits. So there's a thin layer of sun right, or of uh, atmosphere right above you, which is why you see blue during the sky, because those small waves don't get reflected as much. But when the sun is at an angle from the earth, or say you're right here on the earth, the sun is over here, well that's a lot of atmosphere that those lights have to pass through and the atmosphere really blocks out a lot of those blue and purple lights that you see. So the only ones that end up getting to your eye are the reds and oranges. 
which is why you see the reds and oranges, because they go through the filter, whereas the blue lights get reflected and caught in the filter. So that's why you see a, um, that's why you see those colors. Now, maybe there might be other animals, according to Stephen Corfidi, who is, who works for the NOAA, which is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. He wrote The Colors of Sunset and Twilight. He said that some animals might actually see sunsets differently than us, though, because they can see different types of light. Say, like, a snake can see infrared light, so the light he sees might be different than the light we see. And I just find that really fascinating to me how, you know, we're humans, we think we're special, but we're really, we're not that special. There are other animals that can also do other cool things. So I'm going to conclude here with a couple of main points. The electromagnetic spectrum is light. It makes up all forms of energy. It is not just light, though. It is also radio waves and x-rays things in that nature. Uh, the brain is an amazing organ and it can process things at super fast speeds, such as beautiful waves of red and orange light that enter through our eyes. Sunsets are created from sun emitting photons of light. The human brain processes these light, this light and it creates the perfect conditions for a sunset. Now, light is a fascinating topic and it creates many phenomenon such as sunsets and the northern lights and it gives us hope in life but without light earth would just be a dark void of nothingness so I for one am very glad that we have light and we have the sun which gives us light and life so thank you very much for watching I enjoyed it I hope you did too and I hope you learned something thanks have a great day